Yo, it's Guido coming at you with a tactics talk, and uh, we're gonna try something a little bit different here. I've uh, I've grabbed the highest damage already game over on WattReplays.eu. Players Adam seventy eight Clan ST AL. It appears to be over on the EU. That's where I found his name anyway. So not only does it appear to be on the EU, it is on the EU server and he's driving his GWE 100 tier 10 German artillery <laughs> standard battle standard battle he's gonna drop a bunch of pain what we're gonna do here he's even got that thing one marked immediately he sees some red dots and he goes after them What we're gonna do here is we're gonna commentate on what's going on here and try to help you guys out because you know arty missions can be difficult Makes me wonder, and I haven't seen this yet, but it makes me wonder if we've got a few, if we've got a few ammo racks or, well, there's 308 right off the bat. That looked like a hard shot. Appears to use the G view there, so let's see how much he sticks with that. We're going to talk about, though, these big damage games and how you get there. The big damage games and how you get there. We're going to watch people do it, which is one of the best ways to figure out how that works. Now, I've never really seen anybody use this arty spot. And he's on a downslope, which kind of goofs up the arc a little bit. But let's see what happens. There's a nice soft tank. The thing about the GW100 that I like quite a bit. Oh, that was a direct hit, my friends. That, <laughs> when it doesn't explode, that was a direct hit. So nicely done right there. And still using the G view, so it looks like he is a fan of that. I've never noticed it kind of wrap that marker around like that. That was very interesting right there. That was very interesting. I tend to use the top-down view a lot as well, but we'll see. He's just going to put the old pipper right on this guy. Uh, the GWE100, what has happened to the replay? I don't know. There we go. The GWE100, I think, is a hidden gem. There's another almost 400 off of the 277. I would imagine that direct hit on the Leopard probably garnered 800, maybe 1,000. Let's see if we can find the find the Leo part. Oh, he's dead. Never mind. No, our Leopard's dead. See if we can see the leopard and what his hit points are here in a minute. But back to the GWE 100. It's a hidden gem, very accurate, but notice that its field regard is very small. So it is a little bit fiddly in that case, and it's very slow, but its accuracy is fantastic. Now there's a cool seven, almost 800 right there for a double hit. That is definitely something you want to try to do with the artillery. This game will obviously be with somewhere in the neighborhood of 7,200 damage will obviously be uh, putting him at the top. So that will finish your your SPG-15 battles, the one where you've got to be top, top damage, and, and top experience and all that good stuff. I think, there, is there a damage requirement? I don't remember. Now, there's also going to be a bunch of stun involved here. So we can get over to the card and see. Well, not too much. Uh, damage, vehicle stun, 1,986. Time stun. Stuns cause 16, but it doesn't really break it down on this card. What the stun time is, that's interesting. Enemy armor is destroyed. Holy cow, we just dropped 330 on the FV and took him out. That brings us up to 1,800. Remember, there's also the damage on the Leopard that we did not get to see. One thing about the experience part on artillery, you know, when he shot into that Leopard and hit him, that was all his experience. That Leopard wasn't spotted anymore. So dark tanks, you get all the experience. So he's about to get himself another double tapper on this one, more than likely. Now, there we go. Biff. All right, another cool 1,000. <laughs> Nicely done. Ouch and double ouch. His team is starting to lose right here. Starting to lose. Not too bad, but it's 3-4. to four. The problem is that south flank is about to lose wholesale. And they are winning up in the north. So let's see what... Adams does here if they do indeed win down there and it looks like they have let's see what he actually does now I gotta change my uh, stuff around here because I can't actually there we go so there is an FV there is an FV hanging out and there's well there's two FVs the 4005 and the 215 version plus a TVP so that is keeping those two from coming around the corner in addition to that getting blapped twice for a, a grand from the GW E100 now, one thing you are not seeing from Adams is he is not moving. And I think that's a little bit dangerous right there, actually. Especially if they, the enemy team starts clicking on where he is because he continually punishes people. There's only 323. 
exclusively using the G view. That is something I'm going to have to consider because that is not something I do. And I'm not saying that's the only reason that we're doing well here, but it certainly uh, is not hurting him. The other thing about the GW100 is it reloads pretty quickly. For one of the tier 10 t uh, artilleries, it reloads very nicely. Now there's that guy. Yeah, he, he took a big chunk of hit points unless someone else hit him. Because he just got hit for 300 and now he's only got 57. Oh, this poor guy. Oh, this poor guy. We're going to watch our work. Yep, there we go. Enemy we're just going <laughs> to... We're just going to watch. Just going to watch our work. The FE is pushing in, looking like he maybe wants to try to finish one of those guys off. There's quite a few mediums. I'm betting they're all sniping up there. The 277 is turtled up against the rock, so we're going to try to... No, it doesn't matter. He's dead. Oh, there's the natural enemy of the artillery. It looks like there's at least a couple marks on that EBR. I'm going to want to keep an eye on that guy. Oh, the 140's out in the open. He's making a runner. Are we just going to shoot? Oh, he gets stuck on a rock. That's not good, buddy. Oh, boy. <laughs> we missed right, so I don't know if we got any damage on him. That was close. I might have shot right when he got stuck on the rock, even though the dispersion wasn't completely close. But you know what? I didn't do 7,200 damage, so there you have it. There goes the EBR, raging along. He's in a bit of a sandwich, though. He's got a 100, keeping an eye on him. He's got a 100, and FV takes a big hit. Looks like from the ST, yeah, a little two-mark action right there. He's in... Oh, are we going to actually kill an EBR? An Angel's about to get its wings, isn't it? Yes, it is. So, yeah. <laughs> They're knocked out! There he goes, and we have created an advantage for our team. We're at 3,182. We have at least one, maybe two blind shots in there for some extra damage the e100 is hanging out behind all this we're gonna we might just take another blind yeah looks like maybe we can take another blind already shot into here are we about to watch an e100 get pulled off the map there it goes what happens with the did not directly hit him so if there was any damage it was splash Remember, if you don't see the explosion, it directly hit the tank. If you see the ground go and stuff fly around, that's the noise it makes, then you know you did not hit directly. So we've got guys pushing up on the cap. Nice fast zoom. The other advantage of the GW100 is it zooms, on, zooms in quickly. It zooms in quickly. This is going to hurt, isn't it? Oh, we went forward. He's going to back into it. Oh, man. He's going to back into it. We're at 3,600. We've got 1,189 shown anyway from stun or while stunned, however they put that. And Adams is on a bit of a roll. There goes the STV-1. Yeah, there he completely goes. There is a 100 running around. Why is this TVP-51 50, hanging out back at cap? He must have come back looking for the, the LT-100 or the 100 LT. Now, he's kind of stuck because he's got guys on both sides of him. He knows that Artie's probably searching for him. Uh, is he gonna, he's going to keep moving. No, it goes up. Oh, we just... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> I thought that was going to be a direct hit because he backed right into where the shot was aimed. Uh, but he only got a little bit. He got 163. There's a few more points from while stunned or however they put that. E100 was last seen up there. The VK is humping a rock. The 140... It's sitting over here somewhere. There we go. Uh -oh. We got a heavy out in the open. And that's the VK. So we're going to shift. I think I would have shifted my field of guard further left because you're going to. No, it doesn't matter because he was right on the edge. We're going to get another direct hit. He backs out. Nope. Oh, okay. 237. That's up to 4,000. Takes a big hit. We're working on that left edge of the azimuth. I think I would have shifted the whole hole a little bit just so I was. Better prepared. Doesn't matter though, he's dead. And now we're going to drag back and find this poor FB who's now out in the open here. Takes a hit. Takes another hit. Oh, he's gone. Never mind. Only two tanks. It's only showing 4,000 damage. That's very interesting. It must have been quite a bit. Maybe there was a couple more tanks sitting around when he was doing the double hits because we're not going to get much more out of this, are we? There's only an object 140. And we're only showing 4,500. That's amazing. There's 2,500 damage out there. So I imagine the one that hit the leopard was at least a grand. And I don't, yeah, he's over to your right there, buddy. <laughs> yeah, there he is. Yep, he doesn't have many hit points left. And now he's got zero. So wow, there was a bunch 
of blind shots in there. This ends up being, like I said, I'm going to go over here and check this out. This ends up being 7,200 damage, a 1,216 experience game. He's top experience and, and top damage right there. And, you know, other than not moving, which I think is something I would have done, just in case the other GW100 was looking, did a really nice job of just moving from target to target and pretty much firing the moment he was ready. If you notice, nearly every time he was ready, he was in a position to fire. You can see he's running chocolate down there. Doesn't even have a uh, repair kit, not bothering. He does have a camo net, so the chocolate's going to help. I don't know what his equipment is, but it's probably something... Probably something that helps out, obviously. Um, what, gun laying drive, rammer, that kind of thing, maybe vents. I don't know if that tank has vents. Some of the artillery don't can't don't have vents because they're not enclosed. I think this might be one that doesn't have vents. But it's firing every single time that the the shell came up and went down range. And one of the other reasons I want to show this, first of all, it's the highest damage, at least right now, showing in in wattreplays.eu. But at the the other part of it is for you guys that are thinking about, hey, I want to get those reward tanks, and I've been avoiding artillery. This is this is the way artillery is done if you want to get through those missions. I hate to say it because I rage against artillery all the time. It is a bummer to get hit for a grand like that poor leopard probably did. In fact, I can probably look at that right now and just find out how much he did to that poor leopard. There were two of them, so maybe I was missing missing track. Uh, 57 on one, and the other one took 1,300. <laughs> 1,300 on that one. So you add that, that is 57, and we only have to come up with another about 1,500 in, in blind shooting, which makes sense to me now. 1,300 damage to the Leopard right there. Shoot those guys that are dark, get the experience, and don't share it. That's going to help you get to the top of the experience rolls so you can finish that SPG-15 and the other various SPG missions that require you to be close to the top or on top in damage or experience or both all right guys i hope you enjoyed that that was a great game good job there adams 78 holy cow dropping the absolute pain on people that's all i've got for today we will see ya